Well, Michael Bichaya, the author of Living Media Ethics, Routledge, um, 2019, and also distinguished professor of liberal arts and sciences at Iowa State University of Science and Technology. And this is a summary of the chapter in the book about discretion and for my media ethics class at the Greenlee School. We begin our discussion about discretion with some basic definitions. It is not being secretive and it is um, not a, a TV discretion advised type of warning. Discretion is the power to act according to one's own judgment, relying on your perception. As you can see here, the definition of perceptions concerns how you view a problem, person, or situation, and that's subject to change, uh, especially during crises. As always in my classes, we will take a look at what experts have to say about the topic. Topic, And in this case, we're going to take a look at uh, Malcolm Gladwell's wonderful book and an animation here about it called Blink. We're going to take a look as well. We're going to explore the five rules of discretion. Accept your gut instinct, but reject your first reaction. We're going to use Ben Franklin when we can, who uh, was one of our constitutional framers concerned about character education. Franklin is noted. Uh, Franklin is noted for saying, "Don't speak before thinking." This is a great quote. Thinking aloud is a habit which is responsible responsible for most of mankind's misery. We'll also take a look at um, videos that reinforce lessons. In this case, how a practitioner was fired after an offensive tweet. Another uh, tenant of discretion is to seek counsel with someone impartial. We'll look Focus on perception first, then solve the problem. Make sure you're actually seeing the problem as it is and not through a filter. And finally, the goal is to solve problems without creating greater ones. We'll take a look at my published research concerning managing your reputation in a time of apology and cultural shift. Again, as we usually do, we'll uh, view some YouTube videos uh, um, that are case studies, in this case, the science of internet trolls and what we can do about that. Discretion also asks us to collaborate with our employees and our team members and to use discretion when you are doing that and how that works into creative collaboration, particularly in advertising and public relations. We'll look at, uh, we'll look at videos about empathy and how empathy is a critical component of discretion. We'll explore fairness. We'll explore apologies. We'll explore how diversity empowers us. And we'll take a look at how corporations incorporate these tenants in their human resource videos. We'll discuss true collegiality and how to report infractions at the workplace. Finally, we'll take a look at methods to interact collegially and interpersonally with team members at the workplace or at university. Thank you.